Hello everybody! In today's video, I'm going to tell you how to connect a smartphone to a TV. If you need to recover deleted data, view or restore removed browsing history, Hetman Software Products will help you. Follow the link in the description, download the necessary program for free, install it and analyze the disk. The utility will show you the data you can recover, so you will be able to view it or get it back. In our channel and blog you will find solutions to any problem, from installing an operating system or configuring it to fixing possible bugs and errors or optimizing mobile gadgets. Our specialists will answer any questions you ask in your comments under the videos or articles. There are several ways of doing it, and some of them can turn your mobile device into a full-featured smart media player, while others only let you play files or certain formats. First of all, you should decide why you need it, and only then choose how to get the two devices connected. You may want to use the TV to view photos and videos from your phone camera, watch videos from the Internet or cast the smartphone screen to your TV. So in this video, we'll analyze all possible ways to get a phone and a TV connected. So let's begin. With the easiest type of connection – by USB. This way, you'll be using the mobile device as a flash drive. However, there are chances you'll be able to play only the media files from the phone memory, such as photos, videos and music. In this case, all you need is a phone, a USB cable and a TV equipped with a USB port. Now just connect the phone and the TV with a cable. On your TV, select USB port as the input source. For quick selection, press Source button on the television's remote control unit. On the phone, you may need to tap a button to confirm connection as a media device. After that, the TV screen should display a list of files or folders that the TV can recognize. Naturally, it depends on the functionality of your television. Another way is connecting the TV and the phone by HDMI. You will need an HDMI cable compatible with your phone or a special adapter. This type of connection makes it possible to use the TV as an external display for gaming, movies or web surfing. That is, the phone screen will be mirrored to the larger screen of your TV. Depending on the communication port available on your phone, a special adapter or cable is required. It will have an HDMI connector on the one end and a microUSB, USB Type-C or Lightning connector on the other. Bear in mind that in the screen-sharing mode mobile devices discharge their batteries much faster, so adapters usually feature a special connector for the charger. Before buying an adapter, make sure that your smartphone supports screen-sharing with this specific type of adapter. Use the cable to connect the smartphone and the TV. If you use an adapter, plug it into the phone and connect the adapter to the TV with an HDMI cable. On the TV, select the HDMI port as the input source, and the TV will receive the image automatically. If it doesn't happen, change display settings on your phone. Now, let's find out how to get the phone and the TV connected without drowning in a sea of cables. Another way to make the two devices work together is naturally Wi-Fi Direct. All you need is a TV that supports Wi-Fi Direct and a smartphone running at least Android 4. With Wi-Fi Direct, a mobile device and a TV are linked directly without a router. In this situation, the TV acts as a hotspot to which the smartphone is connected, so you can send media files to the big screen using the integrated menu. To get things up and running, open network settings on your TV and enable Wi-Fi Direct. On your smartphone, open settings. Wi-Fi, Advanced, Wi-Fi Direct. The phone will start searching for available devices. When the search is complete, select your TV from the list. To cast photos, videos or music, use the standard sending menu on your phone and select your TV as the output device. One more way to connect the two devices is by DLNA, but it requires a Wi-Fi router and a TV with DLNA support, with the router being the actual connected device. The TV can be connected to your home network either by cable or Wi-Fi, and the phone will use Wi-Fi connection, which is natural. The DLNA streaming protocol lets you view media files from your mobile device on the TV screen. First of all, make sure that the television and the phone are connected to the same network. Open the settings menu on your TV and enable DLNA. On your smartphone, navigate to Gallery and open the media file you need. Then tap on the menu, select Cast and choose your TV from the list. For more advanced settings and sharing content from other apps, 
I recommend using a media server app from Google Play. For example, one of the best products of this kind, Bubble UPnP. If you own an iPhone and an Apple TV set-top box, this method is just what you need, because the most convenient way to connect an iPhone to a television is with the Apple TV device. And the proprietary AirPlay protocol will ensure wireless transmission of content to Apple TV. Combining the two, you can easily show presentations, view photos, watch videos, and even play games. So, how can you establish this connection? First of all, connect the iPhone and Apple TV to the same network. Then, open Control Center on your phone and tap Screen Mirroring. Finally, select Apple TV from the list. That's all. Now you see the phone screen displayed on your television. One more way you can try is connecting by Miracast. It requires a TV supporting the Miracast technology or a special adapter for televisions that don't support it. It looks like this. Miracast is designed to enable screen mirroring from mobile devices to televisions, and it works similarly to AirPlay. In smart TVs, it works out of the box, and with a special adapter you can add this feature to any television as long as it has at least one HDMI port. If you have a smart TV, just open the network settings and turn this function on. On your smartphone, open Settings, Display and navigate to Wireless Display. Depending on a particular version of your mobile device, this switch can be located elsewhere. If your television doesn't have smart functions, you will have to buy a compatible adapter, preferably a versatile model supporting Miracast, Chromecast and AirPlay. Then plug the adapter into an HDMI port and open the TV menu to select the HDMI where the adapter is plugged in. Download the app by scanning the QR code on the screen and use it to establish the connection, or use the wireless display function in your phone's settings. Finally, one more way to connect a phone and a television with the help of a special adapter is Chromecast. It's another wireless media streaming technology, this time from Google, and you need a proprietary dongle which can be plugged into any television as long as it has an HDMI port. When you do that, you'll be able to watch videos from your phone's gallery and various apps, as well as play games and give presentations by mirroring the phone screen to your television. Such adapter is available in two versions, a cheaper type with Full HD support and a more extensive type capable of handling 4K stuff. Plug the adapter into an HDMI port on your TV and connect a USB cable for power. Switch to the adapter's HDMI port and connect it to a Wi-Fi network. On your phone, download the Google Home app for Android or iOS. Open the app, sign in with your Google account and configure it. Open the content in a compatible app, click on the corresponding icon and select a Chromecast device from the list. As you do that, the picture appears on the screen of your television. Summing up, it was the last way of connecting a smartphone to a television, and which one you choose depends on the devices you are using and on why you need this type of connection. If you only want to view photos and videos from your phone, even the USB connection would be fine. If you need more functions, then consider other methods. Connecting the two devices by USB is the oldest way, and you'll be able to work only with, file, with the file formats – music, photos, videos – that your television supports. Here is why there is always a risk that some movies or photos downloaded to your smartphone may not open correctly. The easiest and the least difficult way to connect the two devices is by using the HDMI port, which is available in every modern TV and in most older models. Even if your phone doesn't have an HDMI port, it's so much easier to buy an adapter. It's a small price to unlock all the functions, play all kinds of media files, connect other devices and go online. And that is all for now. I hope this video was useful. Hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. Don't forget to check the bell icon to receive notifications about new videos. Leave comments to ask questions and share your opinion. Thank you for watching and good luck!